Let's have your strike rate of 130 in a test match. Have a look at some of this. people in to save the single other than Rambrakesh at long off and a long leg and third man that's just missing leg stump oh it should be out is it that must be out is it 404 for nine oh, it was good bowling from Caddick again the Yorker yes he was too late getting the ball uh, out of the hand that's another six Another massive blow, slower ball from Flintoff. And crunched over long arm by this completely extraordinary performer. Slow ball, 105 Ks, and Astle had to do all the work, and he did. Timing here, it's a great delivery. It doesn't matter. It's one hit away from 200 now. It's a lovely shot through extra cover for four. It's a really classy little punch drive. That's a great shot. There's some men back at long off and deep extra cover, but he gets it through. 2 away from that is 200 for Nathan Astle it is enough to say that nobody in history has made 200 as fast as this in greater style as this or maybe to mean as much as this Fastest 200 in Test cricket. Oh. When you look back and you think that Adam Gilchrist, who's a, a fantastic stroke maker in his own right, and he just knocked off the quickest double hundred just a couple of weeks before, you have just now knocked him off by 59 balls. I mean, it's exceptional, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's even looking at it now. I don't know if I, I, I know I've got the record. Looking at it is like, is that really me out there doing that? It's. Um, it was surreal, I think, some of it. It was like I was out there, but I wasn't out there. I was just, I was just having a lot of fun, and, and I can't really remember any, any particular moment out there. It was just all rolled into one, and it was an, an hour and a half, two hours of, of good cricket. Astor, 217 minutes, and the only other fastest 200 in minutes was by Bradman. Up in the air, and uh, out of the ground. Six more. That's why the bumper's a risk. Well, it's stupid bowling. It's a good shot because Astor's actually had to fetch it from outside the off stump, but the pace is what he's backing on. 130 Ks. That's what Astor wants. 100 partnership up in the 45th minute. 10 sixes now for Astor. 10. 27 fours. And only 115 to win. Oh, that's nicely bowled by Hogarth. That really is good stuff. Here he goes. High in the air. And it's safe. And all around me, we've got the back door of the commentary box open. I can hear New Zealanders shouting, safe, safe, drop ball, drop. Because they really think this is on. What has been a forlorn, hopeless event for them is suddenly one of the most riveting sporting occasions you can imagine. And one of the few shots, if, if the only shot that Astle hasn't got hold of and been in control of. 
He's gone past Martin Donnelly, the highest score for New Zealander against England. Oh, it's a lovely stroke. Beautiful cricket stroke. Hoggard <laughs> lost his line here, and uh, it's just a, a nice little tuck off the, the hips by Ethan Astle. Comfortably put away. Pace is there for him. He just has to lean on it. Six men on the fence. Doesn't bother Astle, he hits it over them. That's halfway up the seats. It's another mighty blow. This guy isn't just hitting it over people's heads. He's hitting it so far, it's just, it's mesmeric. Yeah, I counted about 36 rows. It's just magnificent. I mean, the, the balance, when you're moving down the wicket to hold that balance against a, a ball 132 k's. See you later. match not without a tremor because Nathan Astor has played the most fantastic innings that I think any of us have ever seen 222 to give his team the chance to give the world a reminder of what a thrilling game test match career can be in the most unusual fashion here so this is Australians by eight.